When 20th century scientists discovered the role DNA plays in heredity, they founded a new science called genetics that put Darwin's theory to the test. The cells of all great apes, like chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans, contain 24 pairs of chromosomes. If humans share a common ancestor with apes, you'd expect us to have the same number. But surprisingly, human cells contain only 23 pairs. Now, if we share a common ancestor, what happened? Is it possible that in the line of evolution that led to us, a pair of chromosomes from a primate ancestor just got lost and just got discarded? Well, the answer to that is no, it's not possible. And the reason is because every primate chromosome has so many important genes on it that the loss of both members of a pair would be fatal. You wouldn't even get through embryonic development. So there's only one possible explanation. And that explanation is that in the line that led to us, two chromosomes that were separate in other primates became fused to form a single chromosome. And this is why evolution is a science. That possibility is testable. We ought to be able to look at our genomes and find that we carry a chromosome with the marks of that fusion on it. Now, how would we find that? It's easier than you might think. Typically, on the ends of every chromosome, you should find special genetic markers, or sequences of DNA, called telomeres. And in their middles, you should find different genetic markers called centromeres. But if a mutation occurred in the past, causing two pairs of chromosomes to fuse, we should find evidence in those genetic markers. Telomeres not only at the ends of the new chromosome, but also at their middles and not one, but two centromeres. Finding a structure like this in our chromosomes would explain why humans have one pair fewer than the great apes. If we don't find it, then the case for common ancestry for our species might be refuted. But if we do find it, it would be powerful evidence in favor of evolution. So all we have to do is to scan the human genome and see, do we have a chromosome that has these marks, telomere DNA in the center and two centromeres? Well, the answer turns out to be, we do. And it's human chromosome number two. And the evidence is unmistakable. We've suspected this for a very long time. And in 2005, a definitive study was published showing that chromosome two has the exact fusion point, almost the point at which the scotch tape holds those two chromosomes together can be found. The closer we look at our own DNA, the more detailed the glimpse we get of our own genome, the more powerful the evidence for our own evolution from common ancestry with other species becomes.